what's going on family? General Tony here coming back with a brand new episode for you here today. Now there was obviously no sneak peek today so I've decided to bring you something which is going to help so many of you out. So as all of us know that Sun Hall 11 update is on the horizon and hopefully is going to land within the next two weeks. So once it does land farming is going to change forever. It's going to change drastically. However hold your horses this does not mean RIP farming. So anyone that keeps spreading RIP farming just ignore it guys it's complete BS. Our farming is just never gonna die. It's the biggest aspect of the game. Supercell's never gonna kill it. It's just being real, guys. Be real. Farming is never gonna die. So as I said, I'm gonna help every single one of you out. So once the Town Hall 11 update is gonna be released, there's gonna be no more Town Hall snipes, and collector raids may also decrease because the amount of active players is most likely to increase a massive amount. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you the best attack strategies that you can use. When I say the best, I mean the most cost-effective, time effective and optimal for your town hall level. So I'm about to break down, I'm basically gonna be a guinea pig. Now these aren't gonna be collector rates as I said, we are gonna go right deep into the core of the base. I'm gonna show you how you can get that dark elixir right in the center, how you can get all of the elixir and all of the gold in a base whilst keeping your army cheap and of course very quick to train. So we're not going to waste any time, we are about to get ourselves into the first raid. First example, there will be a shout out and a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into raid number one. Okay guys, now I'm sure every single one of you are aware of Barch. Barbarians, archers, wall breakers, heroes, and of course some spells. Now there is going to be only one rule inside of today's episode, and that is going to be that I can have a maximum of four spells, but three of them have to be elixir, and one has to be a poison spell. So this is going to keep time and of course cost effectiveness very down, because at the end of the day, the whole point of this episode is to show you some quick raids, which are going to be easy to train, they're going to be cheap, and they're going to be optimal for your town hall level. Now once the Town Hall 11 update is released, there are going to be no more Town Hall snipes, so we're not going to take that Town Hall on there, we're not going to go for the easy 1 star, we're not going to go for that free loot bonus, we are testing Barch to see if we can get right in there towards the centre of the base, get you some Dark Elixir, some Gold and of course some Elixir. So the first thing you want to do is test for a clan castle. Now I did test for a CC inside of this raid. However, I did make a mistake because I believe there was no clan castle and in fact there was. But it's okay because I have a poison spell and the only thing that is inside of that CC is some barbs and archers. So remember, do not deploy your entire army at the start, especially if you've got smaller troop forces like this. Because one single big bomb can decimate your army and cause you severe problems. So there is a CC coming out right now and we've dropped a poison spell on it. I mean, it's just got some barbarians and archers inside of it. So they are going to die very damn quickly. Once the clan castle is taken out, we can now deploy our heroes and of course the rest of our army. Now the three spells that I've decided to go for are the jump spell, the rage spell and the heal spell. Now in my opinion, there is one of each simply because I see them as earth spells. They are like the three main spells inside of this game. And to be honest, once they all work together, they are so damn hard to take down. You can see that they were all on top of each other. The heal spell, the rage spell and the jump spell and allowed a large amount of my army to get in there. We have already taken down four storages and the king is right there in the center about to work on that dark elixir. So although the queen is finding herself in several problems on the right hand side, we do have the king in the center of the base. Now we are about to rage him up. That dark elixir is going to come down. It's all going to be mine very shortly. There we go. Now unfortunately we weren't. We just didn't have the manpower to break through onto the other side of the base. We may have been able to do it if we had a couple of giants and of course another jump spell. But remember, we're trying to keep costs low. We don't want to spend too much loot on raids. So we're not wasting any time. We are making our way into the second raid. So the first thing once again is to draw out the clan castle. Now we are using level seven giants and level five minions this time. So we've deducted some barbs some archers, the rest of the army is the exact same. So we've drawn out some level 7 giants. Now if you didn't know, level 7 giants do not die from a poison spell. However, level 6 and below do. Now this is going to be absolutely perfect. We've wasted an archer to draw them out and we have some minions. So once a poison spell has been placed down, we can just drop a couple of minions and those giants are going to be completely wasted. So putting giants inside of a clan castle, not usually the smartest thing to do. So don't forget the giants on your team are going to be the number one force to go in first. Now please bear in mind you want to ensure there are no spring traps around because if there are and you've only got 16 giants you can use you can literally lose half of them in 10 seconds so we've dropped down the rage spell trying to get those wall breakers right deep into the base now we can drop in the heroes and the botch and then goes the jump spell so don't forget we are trying to take down more percentage of this base than what the actual botch attack previously has done 
So we got the Barbarian in the center, the Barb King. Loads of archers are now making their way in. And I wanted to drop down a heal spell just to make sure the King and all of those archers can survive. Now once those mortars are taken down, there is really nothing that can do too much damage to my archers. And of course, we do have the Queen up the back. Now we got the Giants going around the left hand side of the base. And some actually went towards the right. None went in the center, which was quite annoying. But it doesn't really matter because the King did go in the center. The Queen is in the center now, of course, as well. So if we just take a really far bird's eye view look at this base, you can see the queen is in the center and there's no defenses to target her. So she has got a free ride to take down so much percentage points, it's ridiculous. Now if you are using BAM or some sort of minions inside of your attack strategy, I would suggest keeping them right up until the end. Now minions are one of the hardest troops to use simply because one air bomb comes up and you lose hundreds. You lose bloody hundreds of the little buggers. So whenever you drop in your minions, make sure you drop one in at a time, which is exactly what I've done inside of this raid at the start, just to make sure there were no air bombs to come up. So the queen has just been taken out, so now we're going to flood in with the rest of the minions, knowing there are no air bombs left. We're going to take down that elixir storage, and that is where we're going to end the raid. And look at that, guys. From a simple giant attack strategy, we managed to take down a max Town Hall 9 base for 77%. That, in my opinion, is pretty damn good, considering we could have used more spells, and we could have just dropped the barbs, the archers, and the minions, and gone for some more decent troops. But we didn't, so it was very cost-effective and very time-effective. So please remember the whole entire purpose of this episode is to show you attack strategies which can get into a base. This isn't about collector raids. So we are about to go in for one final raid. And the final attack strategy we're going to show you is using a barge. Except this time we're going to be using it with golems. So we're going to need to buy some gems just to make sure we can gem these troops. So we'll be back in a second. And there we go, the General Tony strikes again. Yeah, we got ourselves 1,200 gems. Now, they are only going to be used for troops, guys. We're not, we're not going to use them for anything else. So, we're going to gem our golems and a couple of minions, of course. Now, is anything else need a gem? Do we need to gem anything else? Nope, we are ready. We are ready to penetrate one final base. Alright guys, so we've landed on this Tunnel 9 base finally after searching. Now I completely forgot I was doing it live and sent in my wall breaker straight away. I managed to break down part of the base. Now we have got the exact same jump, heal and a rage and of course a poison. So we're going to start this attack by dropping in both golems and then following in with the barbarians. Now we do have some wizards and of course a load of archers still. So we're going to drop the rest of our troops in. We're going to go, and go in with the king, the queen and drop in loads of our little bug. Oh, damn, they've got a clan castle. So we couldn't actually draw out the CC here quite simply because it was just too deep into the base. So we're then going to drop in our raid spell just behind. We're going to hold back with some, a few archers, and of course, some of our actual uh, minions. So now we're going to drop our raid spell, and uh, no, not our raid spell, our heal spell and our jump spell in there. The golems will hopefully go right up there towards the front of the base. Now we have got a few Harry Potters inside of this raid, as I said, and they are hopefully going to do some serious... No! No! We just lost those of them there to that big bomb. Not looking too great, I'm not going to lie. Not looking too great. So the Barb King has just been taken down. Now the Queen has finally just reached that Dark Licks in the center. We're only up to 40 something percent so far. So it looks like the actual Golems didn't do as good as the Giants. So we're going to have to use the Queen's ability. She's going to take down some of this more, a little bit more loot for us. Hopefully we can use our minions as a last resort and take down that gold storage over there on the right hand side. So the first thing we want to do is guarantee ourselves a victory. So we're going to drop an Archer there. We're going to drop an Archer there. And, of course, we're going to drop an archer there. Now, that's guaranteed us the victory. Damn, this person has so many cauldrons. Jesus. Bloody hell, this person is rich in cauldrons. He has, like, ten. All right, so now we're going to take on the actual... Oh, no, damn, mortar. We're going to take on this gold here. So we're going to drop a few minions in. There we go. There is nothing surrounding. No big bombs. So that gold storage is mine. There we go. We got the victory as well. But I will say this attack strategy, although it allowed us to enter the center of the base, kind of. I would say the golems are just too damn slow. There wasn't enough firepower behind them. Obviously, we had too many barbs, too many archers. So I would say I would prefer to go with a giant attack strategy over any other. So there we have it guys, I hope this episode has helped you out quite a lot. Now what you can take from this is that the giant attack strategy does work very well as long as you have a few spells with you. Now I would go with a jump, a heal and a rage because you do kind of need one of each. As long as you've got the giants under heal, under rage and of course the jump spell, it's going to allow them to enter any compartment of a base without inferno towers inside and take it down pretty damn quickly. So if you have enjoyed this episode and you found it helpful, please feel free to smash that like button down below. There are most likely going to be three episodes today on this channel guys we have some serious serious content in store for you the 150k sub gem giveaway spree is gonna be next week guys and i promise you it's gonna be worth it so for everyone asking just be patient you are not gonna be disappointed so i will see you shortly i love you all
Peace out.